Anything else you want to say to your fans, man? Ah, uh, man, shout out to Dante's Boxing Nation. You know, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, Earl Spence Jr., my whole name. And just look out for me. Yes, sir. Let me dig into your brain, folks. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So Earl Spence, he went on his Instagram account, he put up a post, and it read, Mr. Line em Up, told y'all the tables have turned. Hashtag unification time. Hashtag man down. Hashtag I can't be avoided. Hashtag strap season. Clearly, Earl Spence is saying that because he's very close to signing a deal to fight Sean Porter for a unification bout. So Errol Spence is definitely right when he said the tables have turned because now it is very difficult to avoid Errol Spence. You know, the excuse fighters made before was he didn't have a belt. He didn't really have a name. Now Errol Spence, he has all of that. He has the belt. He has the biggest name in the welterweight division right now. So when Al Heyman calls you up and he says, I want you to fight Errol Spence, it's kind of hard for these fighters to come up with an excuse why they don't want to face him. And I think that's exactly what happened with Sean Porter. If you guys recall, when Sean Porter, when he fought Danny Garcia, going into the Danny Garcia fight, him and Danny Garcia, they both actually said that they would fight Errol Spence next. Both of them said, you know, right now he has a big buzz, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, I'll fight him. So when Sean Porter won the fight, you guys all know the story. Uh, Errol Spence jumped in the ring. He basically called him out and Sean Porter grabbed the mic and said, yeah, we're going to fight next. This is the easiest fight that could be made. And then he went to the post-fight press conference and he said, I'm not fighting Errol Spence next. Now understand this. When Sean Porter originally said before he beat Danny Garcia, he wants to fight Errol Spence, I believe Sean Porter. I made a video talking about it. I believed him and I had already jumped the gun and gave him credit for wanting to fight Errol Spence. But then I got duped when Sean Porter walked to that press room and said something completely different. So then we fast forward to more recently where uh, Errol Spence, or when Errol Spence, when he beat Mikey Garcia, once again, Sean Porter, he said to Errol Spence, look man, if you don't fight Manny Pacquiao, I'll fight you next. And once again, I believe Sean Porter. And this time, it looked like Sean Porter, he was serious when he said it. Because once again, the fight is close to being done. And you know, if Errol Spence were to beat Sean Porter, of course, his stock just goes up higher and higher. So Errol Spence, he basically went from having no options to now basically having multiple options. And I think you could attribute a small part of that to Mikey Garcia. Because I think some of the welterweights, they had to be looking at the situation like, wait a minute, you telling me while none of us is willing to fight Errol Spence, this guy is going to jump up and wait and fight him? And he's serious about it? I truly feel that some welterweights, they felt that Mikey Garcia was making them look bad by him taking this challenge. But for whatever reason Sean Porter decided to take this fight, I commend him for coming this close to taking the fight, even though he hasn't signed the contract yet. Or maybe I should say, even though it's not official yet. It's still a good look that Sean Porter is giving the fans the fights that they want to see. Now, Kenny Porter, he said it ain't going to be no hesitating and being gun shy and fighting like Mikey Garcia. This is what Kenny Porter said. He said it's going to be a real fight when it comes to Sean Porter, meaning he's going to let his hands go. It ain't going to be a defensive chess match. Now, if that's true, then it's definitely going to be some serious fireworks in this fight and somebody is gonna get knocked out for sure. So let's see what happens. Let's see if we get an announcement. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Oh yeah, once again, man, go ahead and subscribe to that new channel, Dante's News Nation, and subscribe to Dante's Travel Nation, where I'm gonna be showing you guys my life out here in Thailand, places to go. I'm gonna be traveling to different countries in Africa and Europe, mainly the UK. But yeah, man, go ahead, show that support, and subscribe to those channels. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.